Lights, camera, action. The 48-hour film project is coming to Chicago, and now is the time for amateur filmmakers to register for this really unique contest. It's a weekend of adrenaline, fun, and creativity, and Jerry Vassilatos is the city producer for the 48-hour film project, and he's here with info on people who might want to kind of tap into their inner Steven Spielberg, I guess we could say, right? <laughs> I'd say so, sure. <laughs> That's uh, what you're hoping you're going to get. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, a lot of emerging filmmakers participate in this competition from all ranges of experience. We have a lot of newbies, and we have a lot of experienced filmmakers participate in it also. So it's a very broad range of diversity in the styles and types of films you see at the actual screenings. Wow. This, this is the best idea. We yeah, think this is. is so incredibly <laughs> Even cool. Even if you just do it for a lark, it sounds like fun. Now, yes. you actually participated in this yourself. Yes. And now you're running it for Chicago. Tell us how it all works. Well, the 48-hour film project is a timed filmmaking competition uh, that basically assigns elements to filmmakers on Friday night, and they have to write, produce, and edit a four to seven minute movie in 48 hours and turn it in by seven o'clock on Sunday oh, on the filmmaking weekend. Okay, so what ha So this happens in different cities? Uh, do they happen at the same time in different No, they cities? happen, they happen uh, in different cities at, on different dates throughout the year, uh -huh. but every major city in the United States will have a 48 hour film project and the winners from every city then compete nationally against each other to appear at Lollapalooza which is a big film festival. Uh, they compete for the $5,000 prize, mm -hmm. and then whoever wins at Lollapalooza advances to the Cannes Film Festival in 2016. They'll be screened there on behalf of the 48-hour film project. That's pretty oh, major. That's, uh, yeah. That is pretty awesome. Okay, yeah. so we're looking at video from uh, previous contestants. Yes. And how do they get their actual assignment? Because this isn't something, because we were wondering, like, is this something they can do in advance? Oh, that. Yeah, that's Ooh, really yeah. cool. Yeah, that's yeah. all done in 48 hours. I mean, these people, these filmmakers are very creative in, in uh, how they put their projects together. <laughs> On a Friday night, to, to prevent the filmmakers from, and the filmmakers are ethical to begin with, right. but we, the whole point of the competition is to be creative and challenge yourself. So all of the teams draw a genre out of a hat. It can be anywhere from, anything from action adventure to musical to western. Um, and all of the teams are then given the same elements, a line of dialogue, a prop, a character name, and a character profession. This is cool. Right. So it's almost like a game. Yeah. Yeah. It is. All the teams have to work the same elements into whatever genre that they pull. So then they have to write it that Friday night and shoot and, and turn it in by wow. uh, by Sunday. By the way, this would make for a great TV show. I just want to point this out. Yeah. Yeah. I would totally watch this if it was a 48-hour film project starting on a Friday. I'm just putting that out there for well, next I, year. I, I think that'd that's be a great cool idea. show. If people want to get a sense of like the, the, the hectic, how hectic it is, yeah, it's like The Amazing Race, right. but you're making a movie. Right. That's the type of atmosphere that you've got going on when the filmmakers are working on this. How many people did you say you could have on a team? Well, or teams there a range. There, there's no maximum. Okay. Um, I've seen teams compete uh, from 10 people up to 35 or 40. Oh, wow. So it really depends on the amount of friends that you have, the resources you want to put together. Um, How well you work together. Exactly. If you've had existing relationships so that you come together and you've got that synergy or, you know, you're putting your team together for the first time and meeting people to collaborate with to understand what it's like to work on a film together under that kind of pressure and stress. The thing about this is it's a rite of passage for filmmakers. Yeah. Nationwide. People who've started out in film, a lot of them have participated in the 48-hour film project. And for those that kind of, you know, uh, wet their teeth uh, or sink their teeth into something like this. It's what it's like if you're going to work professionally. Right. You have to understand what it's like with the deadlines, collaborating with other people and working under pressure. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun, too. Yeah, and yeah. it sounds like a good way to network and just have a good weekend. So thank you, Jerry. My pleasure. Good yeah. luck with this. It is thank coming so up much. Uh, August 14th through the 16th. So if you are interested, get registered right now at 48hourfilm.com. And if you want to see some of them, too, right? Can you go yeah. there and be yeah, able to see absolutely. them? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, they'll screen at the Logan Theater August 18th through the 20th, and it's open to the public. Okay, fantastic. Nice. Love it.